This podcast is brought to you by HelloFresh. Avoid grocery store crowds. HelloFresh delivers everything you need to prepare dinner to your door contact free. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 10 unfiltered. And use code 10 unfiltered for 10 free meals and free shipping. We love you, HelloFresh. This is so weird, but so great at the same time. Do you like our set? I can't believe this set. <laughs> I can't believe we're in the same room where we used to record. <laughs> like, I don't think I'm at your house anymore. I feel like I'm in like... I feel like I'm waiting to get my table at Nobu or something oh, like that. Okay. It's, it's, Jason we're... said it looked like a Marriott <laughs> or lobby. It, or it looks like a Rainforest Cafe rebrand. Yeah. Like, it's big ass freaking plants. Yeah. It, I mean, like, it is like a little it's a too little fancy. Much. It's a little like, much. I, I, I kind of miss our old set. It had like a certain vibe, like a certain like. <laughs> yeah, but for a while, me, me and Mariah were just sitting with our backs to like two old hanger or like uh, the <laughs> where we used to hang the merch. And then overnight, it just <laughs> like the, tore the wallpaper off. It the lasted brick wallpaper. six hours. Wait, I don't think I was there for the brick wallpaper. No, he wasn't. Oh, we tried to do a revamp. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, thought the like, brick, we thought the brick wallpaper was going to change shit. We were like, oh, we were like it's we gonna have look to real. step it up. It's going to look real. They're not going to know. <laughs> they're not going to know. They're, they're going to know. They're not going to know. <laughs> but oh what's so gosh. cool is you you guys can change the colors for any guest that comes on. Yeah. yeah. Right. We chose uh, green light for you. Oh, that green light. Yes, I, I want, want it. it. Yep. Or is it Matthew McConaughey's green light? Matthew McConaughey. Uh, nah, no. It's a lord. It's, it's yeah, lord. I, when, I picked the, when I picked the color, I was like. Yeah, it's for Matt. I actually feel like Matthew McConaughey wrote that book because of Lord Song. Really? Yeah, he was just like, again yeah, the opening. He's like, "To Lord, thanks for the song, Green Lights." Oh that's wow! Not, saying that's not true. Oh <laughs> it's like God. I gotta read it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it must be good. <laughs> Zane's gonna tell everybody that and just completely disregard that you said okay. it's oh, not 100%. true. I'm gonna take have, that and throw you, it out. Have you read his book? Yes, I did. I okay. listened to it and have read it. I saw oh one thing on TikTok about it, and it was like him telling Obama to run for office. <laughs> Was that like a made-up TikTok? No, or... it, it's not true. I saw that TikTok, yeah, where it's like... And I was like, like, this is not what I thought. The, like, what? I know. I saw another guy on TikTok. It's that same guy who was like... He acts like he's reading a passage from it, and he's like, I I really would like to make a, a hot dog that's with like chili cheese fries and something and someone yeah. eating it. It'd be so a good meal. So it meme. wasn't an no, actual... It, that TikTok made me want to read it, because I'm like, I need that's to see if, really funny. if Matthew McConaughey actually said that, and he didn't. Because I was so. like, that's really fucking cool. Like, And I was like, <laughs> this book is like... Good story. You, you know what they're talking about? No idea. <laughs> I heard chili cheese dog and now I'm freaking sobbing. I know, me too. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> the only thing you guys picked up. Um, <laughs> it's like a dog. You're like talking cookie. <laughs> <laughs> cookie. All right, baby, let's uh, hit the intro. Huh? Okay. We are. <gasps> are you ready? <laughs> you ready? I don't know if I'm ready. You know, I've had a few white claws. I have a little drunken rosacea <laughs> hitting my cheeks. Rosacea. But it seems Put that like... in Urban Dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> I like when Matt's cheeks are red. That means yeah. he's having a good time. Uh huh. Matt, Let's go, baby. Bring down. it back for all time. Yeah. Sake, it's it's coming time, baby. <laughs> yeah. Get it. And it goes into party mode. Yeah. yeah. It's like when your jewel is running out of battery. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, good but we do, we do have to leave a little warning every time because it's yeah. flashing lights. Oh, I stopped right. leaving warnings. Oh, oh shit. You stopped. <laughs> You what? You stopped the warnings for... I, no, I put the warning because we used to flash these lights too. And it was that like was super bad. strong. Oh, but yeah. these aren't that bad like on camera. Not at right? all. Right, yeah. Devin? No. <laughs> Devin's passed Devin, out. Devin doesn't, even, Devin, <laughs> Devin doesn't even have that love. Devin's it's, hallucinated. Devin, okay, right? It's so great seeing Devin like in his whole setup because Devin came on board with Zane after... I left. Yeah. So it's just weird being back in like the whole unfiltered element, but seeing Devin, who I see every day, but in this element, it's cool. Yeah. But, but you look so official. Yeah, we behind the scenes person. Like, that's crazy. He, he, look, he looks like he's about to bust somebody on like to catch a predator. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's in the back room. He's like, go, go. Oh no. Like he's in a van right now. <laughs> yeah. And he's yeah. talking he to He does. Them. The Very... shirt fits the, fits the character too. <laughs> does it? Does he, it? He's, he's wearing, wearing like, like a cowboy a, western like a shirt. Saddle wrench. There, there's like tassels and stuff all dangling down. Down. Yeah. Show it, show it. Yeah, bring it in, bring it in. Yeah, there you go. Hey. <laughs> Looks like he needs to like bust out of saloon doors and be like, Chris Hansen, what are you doing here? Um, Hands up! Guys, I gotta oh, say, man. I've missed you so much. We, we missed, missed you, you too. too. I like you guys. Are you like, about to cry? A little bit. A little bit. It's it, I feel like I'm in a dream. It's the drunken rosation. Right now, but it's it's weird also being in this dynamic, but with the new set. It's different, yeah. It is different, but it's nice. And you know, I love being on my podcast and everything. It's great. And because I love having like deep conversations with people, but I've missed this so much because this feels like it feels like like 
you know when it's like 3 a.m. at a sleepover and you're supposed yeah. to go to bed? Yeah. And you're like still like giggling Where about something. Everything is like a little bit tired, funnier than it should be. Like, boom, de la caca. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how it feels like when I'm with you guys. And I miss that energy on mine. But my podcast is like... It's just for well, me to be all Matt being mad. It's like, well, you, tell, yeah, tell the audience. If, if you guys like books and, and shit, then like definitely, <laughs> definitely go to his well, blog. Yeah, for those listening and watching, if you've been like, where the hell has Matt been? Uh, I started <laughs> I started my own podcast called Hoot and a Half. Um, Get that plug, you know, baby, yeah. It's on YouTube, Apple, plug Spotify, it plug it Anchor. Um, and I just interview a different guest every time. And he just uh, interviewed Heath, actually. If you guys want to, am check I the that last? Out. I'm still the last one, right? Uh, we have Scott, and then Mike and I are going to do our own, and then Mike we and are going to take a break for season three. Kids one spot. second. Welcome back to Zane oh, and Heath yeah. Unfiltered. I'm Zane. <laughs> I'm Heath. <laughs> and that's our lovely <laughs> co-host Mariah, and our highly anticipated guest, comeback guest. <laughs> Come actually, back Matt King. It's actually. Matt King. Yeah. Oh wow! Already there you go. There you go, Matt. Well, since you're here, I need to I need to talk to you about something. Ooh. Why is that fucking Christmas village still up at the house? It's February. Um, it's still under the TV. The you, cr- whole Christmas village. You could have complained all week, <laughs> and you haven't. You could have complained all of January, but you kind of haven't. I wanted to wait. Wait, when I came back from the holidays, I looked at it and I'm like, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I'm so <laughs> sorry, you guys have been looking at it, but now. It's kind of become like the heart of the home. I'm not gonna lie. It actually that's like the only nice thing at the house right now. So it, maybe we should. It's the one thing it that kind of makes Has you feel a cozy walking couch. in. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, when people yeah when people come in, they're like, oh wow, this is so cool. It's like the, when we were talking about doing the Christmas room all year round. Oh yeah, Heath had a front room in his house, and when he moved in, he was like, I don't know what to do with this space, and I thought make it Christmas all, all year, year long. Right. Like Just a whole tree a full idea. of presents. I kind of wanted to keep the Christmas tree. Like I kind of liked the. Zane, you did. It's still at your front door. Yeah, it's still <laughs> outside. Well, well, well I mean, that, I, it's there because it makes it look like yeah. that tree is dead. <laughs> dead, long and gone. But, but I think my like my entire like the foundation of my house is dead too. Like I don't think anything can grow at my house in the anymore. front. Yeah, in the front yard, it's. Ugh. I don't know why it bugs me. Just because I'm like really OCD about that stuff but when i see a christmas village and you can tell that different villages were picked from different companies yeah and like the characters are a little different sizes the houses are like a little bit bigger and like just seeing them like it just like he, i'm right there with you i'm right there with it you. like really grinds my gears. like why He's is everybody ice ska- why is everybody ice skating this big but the houses are that big right like it's, the scaling is um, just... like when you like mix different spots together First off, can I say just this? Yeah, go Watch ahead. yourself. <laughs> Sorry about that. Second Sorry off, that. I agree. Scaling is very tough, but I was given a very constricted canvas to create don't, my masterpiece. Don't. I gave you the whole back room. I, I gave you the like... whole living room in the back. It would have been an afterthought. <laughs> you know, people would have come and go, what's over there? Eh. I just stay feel here. like all companies should have a universal sizing. I'll get there, Heath. <laughs> no, no, I will no, get there. I'm just saying, All of it is Lee Max. I mean, Most of it. I have a Department 56 brand, and that's the Frank Lloyd Wright house, okay? Oh and you know how much Girls that... Girls listening to guys talking about hold cars. On. I got Can, a 57 We need a fact checker. Max. Can you fact check what Somebody, Max Somebody, please. <laughs> you don't doubt what I'm saying? You think I'm just making all of this up? No, but like everything in Lee Max is the same size. Like the people are supposed to be the same size as like what they should be next to... The houses, right? Or no? For, for the most part. I feel like they've kind of changed over the years, though. They've kind of <laughs> just sized it up just a little bit. The point is, when I am a retired old man, you are going to come up to my attic, and I'm going to have a full-on village. It's going to be Choo-choo. fucking Beetlejuice. <laughs> yes. Just, Choo-choo train, miniature s- scale everything. But hopefully you have enough money at the time where you can what? hire someone to really because it's you're not going to be able to do this the ski lift and all that that's going to be really hard to do but just have like a professional help you build this into I'm a so, winter wonderland why are you doubting my finances and <laughs> you'll hopefully have enough <laughs> money uh, <laughs> to make this happen how much are they are they well, expensive? I did i say it like that it, it, it is kind of funny oh, i didn't mean to say it like that like when you have the money or you know what I mean. You Wait, are they that I mean. expensive? They are very They're expensive. Pricey. It's so fucking you know, expensive. How much is a house? Certain, you're especially s- the ones that move. Okay, well, Woo! my Frank Lloyd Wright house, the one on the bottom right, $200. Yeah. But, For one yeah. house in the village? But majority of them, like I got about eight of them for 140 bucks altogether. Oh, right now is the time to buy. 
It's like stocks. <laughs> it's Dogecoin. It's Christmas <laughs> villages right now. <laughs> Lee Max soars every Christmas. Just like, Jesus. put in all your money in this stock. Go to the moon, baby. <laughs> Lee Max to the moon. <laughs> <That's> stupid. <laughs> and uh, I got to say, guys, great coffee. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Matt. You. I love they it. They just watched you pour fucking white claw into that. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> He's showing you the logo. But um, it, but he's speaking from uh, past experience. Past experience. Because remember, we would only have the K sitting around yep, in the background. Yep. And everybody would comment, ooh, what's the K mean? What does the K mean? Some people guessed right. They but did. very few did. Yeah. I wonder I'm, if we I'm just get... surprised they like even caught that. I think that's really crazy. <laughs> I think it was because Mariah put the uh, the K next to like some coffee accessories. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that makes. Well, I mean, everything... I put K, and then there was a, a jar that said coffee on it. Right. So it. What's we funny... were dropping hints. <laughs> What's funny is my last name's King, so that just looks totally normal in okay. my own <laughs> house. Yeah. Like my mom just is like, "Oh, it's a it's a K that's for King." You'd have. The coffee's great. Guys, Thank I have you. tasted their new flavors coming out. You guys had a bit of a taste test online yeah. on Zoom, yeah. which is a very funny uh, situation to be in. Like a bunch of people being like, mm, okay, yeah. how, how are we feeling over there? And you're like, Matt, you walk, smell it too? Matt yeah. walked in on us doing our co- taste test for our co- <laughs> next flavors. <laughs> But did you get to try them? <laughs> I would just imagine like someone like not liking it, and you spit it out, and it just fries the computer. <laughs> so it's just like, tss, and they're gone. Um, All right, well, that one's out of question. We will move that one there. Uh, yeah, I tried. Are we allowed to say what the flavors were? Not no. Not yet. yet. But I haven't tried also that other flavor that's kind of like the granddaddy kush of oh, your next yeah. launch. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's we, not we got that a very one. limited supply of that one. Yeah, I haven't had it. Sorry about that. Well, I mean, it's still up there. There's one left for you to try. Nobody has drank it yet. Can I point out the one funny thing that, like, I noticed about the brand? Yeah. Yeah. But it wasn't intentional. Okay. But doesn't this look like a line of cocaine? Oh, the line in the lizard? Yeah, I, I know. Little, I noticed that. It I noticed looks like a little. Well, because you know how the like, whole logo is back to their roots. <laughs> back to the roots. <laughs> Fuck. Well, you back know, to the roots, baby. You know how Parliament cigarettes, though. The little have a line. The filter, the indent. Well, yes. Well, everyone would say, oh, Parliament Cigarettes, the reason why there's that indent there is because it's perfect to get a bump of cocaine. Or it's because, you know, soldiers would put it in their mouth while they were, like, shooting guns because you could grip onto it. But if oh. you look, there is a line of cocaine right down Hold the on, middle. Really? Look it up. There's like a diagonal what? line that goes across the pack. But it's shaped like a diagonal oval. Like there's a tip and an end. Mariah? I'm, I'm, you know the Parliament cigarettes, Bubba. <laughs> Matt, I typed in. I typed in Parliament. Parliament. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's British. It's British Parliament. <laughs> That's, That's all I got. I didn't think I'd have to type in cigarettes after. Uh, but you, you. Oh my God, Matt's right. I know. Oh, like the way it, like the way they stop it on each side. Yeah. It looks like. Come on. But what's funny is, obviously, you guys didn't do that intentionally. But... Um, yeah, we actually did, because when you drink this coffee, it makes you feel like you're doing cocaine. It, it's, remember where you came from. <laughs> well, did you notice that the lizard, right, the Kermode dragon, is also a K? Yes, I remember that. Oh, and okay. It's Sorry, go also... on. And the, the, the little, like, the, the belly of it looks like, so it's supposed to be not cocaine. It's supposed to be a coffee bean. Whoever made that was like, not only is it a K, I'm going to do this, I'm going to make another K, coffee bean. It's cool. I know. If I was a graphic designer, I would. Well, guys, we are back in stock, except for the cinnamon and French toast. That one went out of stock very quickly. We're so sorry. But the other, the house flavor, the Tahitian vanilla, and the back flavor of the house blend is still out available if you guys want to buy at Cremota.com. And merch. And merch. Oh, yeah. Guys, the hoodies are incredible. If you want to check it out, like. Very premium quality, so yeah. soft and very comfy. When everything's back to normal, can we go to the factory and like? Do you want to see it? Yeah, I want to see it. I yeah. wanted to see it. It too. will blow your mind. Yeah, it's it's incredible. Wow, it's crazy. You guys need to hire the Honey Bunches of Oats lady to be at the Cremota <gasps> factory to be like, Cremota. I love Honey Bunches of Oats. I'm with Cremota. <laughs> Dude, that's that would be fucking sick. You know? Yeah. But that just seeing cool. our pods go through the line was like pretty fucking crazy. <laughs> what was the TikTok you were talking about earlier that like you made you like learn something that you were like freaking out about? Oh yes. I I think we should like you guys should make it like a uh, uh, a section is like what I learned from TikTok or some like, section of that in the podcast. One I found out on the Bachelorette. This girl was saying every time I watch the Bachelorette or the Bachelor when they pick up the rose, they always like twist it and they look at it and then they stop. And then they say the girl's name. 
This girl goes, I think their names are written on the roses. Hmm. That's why they like they twist it because they're Trying waiting to, to get it. the waiting to see the name. And once they see it, they then look up and say the name. Oh my god, yeah. dude, Matt, that's a hundred percent it. Because I always thought they're, they must have an earpiece in their ear. There's no, no way he's like looking at they this would roster catch, and catch that. No, yeah, no, their their names are written on the roses and they're twisting it because they can't remember thirty fucking girls' names. Nobody can. No, nobody can. No, though he's definitely has already made up his mind. Though I always think the Bachelorette, that guy knows who his final five are on night one. 100%. And the rest are the producers going, you're going to eliminate this girl, this one next. Keep it's them around for entertainment. It's all picked, yeah. And then they keep girls like this season, Victoria. They keep girls like that as long as they can until the guy is just like, okay, we got to get rid of her because. Yes. How do you, I, how do you guys I, feel about that show? I've never watched it. The only thing I saw was like somebody trying to like expose or make fun of one of the girls from that. And it was like, she said like. I've never bought a pair of shoes over 40 bucks. And then they like showed her Instagram clip like pictures Mm -hmm. of like her in different shoes. And the shoes were like 50 bucks, $55. And it was like vans. And they were like, (laughs) and everybody commented like, yo, like she was making a joke, like 40, like her shoes are 50 bucks. Like, yeah, she's, uh, she's really pretty. I like her. I just I don't know who it was. I keep I keep telling Todd. Todd has to be on the fucking Bachelorette. I know he's that dating be, Natalie. I know, I know, but for entertainment, he purposes. was already on Sweet Home Alabama. I he know had his time. I know, but it's like that's that's old news. Like I, ba- the Bachelorette and Bachelor are like fucking hot right now. I don't think Todd is that hungry enough to go in and make a fool of himself. I think Todd has enough respect for himself where he'd get in there and be like, "I'm not going to do that." The you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't like. You have to play the game and really. I think there are certain people that are placed on the show just for entertainment. Like, oh, yeah. Really. I think, like, I think the person knows already that they're, they're, they don't like the guy or they don't like the girl. They're only there to make the show entertaining and get seen. I, I believe that. Or to get on Bachelor in Paradise. Or that. That's, yeah. That is, that is like your the, end the bonus game. One? Yes. If you do not end up with him and if you were entertaining enough, you get asked to go yeah, on Bachelor right. in Paradise. That should be your goal. I know. Does that like, do, do, does your career just soar if you're on that show? Like, why is that well, show so much better than The Bachelor and Bachelor? You just stay a little bit more relevant. And Didn't which, like uh, our buddy Tyler, he got big just because of being on that show. Well, he was one yeah. of the favorites, but he didn't right. go on uh, didn't Bachelor in Paradise. But he was top he, four. He was top like three or four, though. Yes. He was second. He was runner up. Or second, yeah. But now his friend is Matt, who is the Bachelor now. Yeah. But what's so funny is I always get so hung up on like their... Uh, uh, are you good? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, we're... I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, it used you to be... You've never, you've never seen it? Uh, Matt's just not used to looking Mariah in the face during an episode. Yeah, well, you used, just the side. used to be by my Can side. Can we move him over here? <laughs> well, why don't you go sit by her side? Yeah, why don't you go sit right now? We're yeah. just gonna test it out. Transition, transition. <laughs> <laughs> well, how does that feel? Can you move over? <gasps> here, here, make sure, it's, make sure it's down here. Feels like old times. Yeah, Mariah, I missed you. Hit a hit a juice in the funny for the old times' sake. <laughs> Hey, hey. Baby, that's cute. That's cute. He's um, rich. You know, it's funny being in this. Uh, oh, oh. oh yeah. watch yourself. <laughs> There's not a lot of room. Not, <laughs> it's a little bit smaller than I remember. <laughs> this is getting weird. I think it's time to I think it's time to break the ice. Okay, so the other day. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's gonna say the whole thing. He, he goes, let me make this quick. So about a year and a half ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this was the other day. The other day it was Groundhog Day, and uh-huh. I was very excited to play uh, the Groundhog Day game on VR, which is like the sequel to the movie, and I was very excited about it because I thought it was going to be on my Oculus Quest 2, but it wasn't. It was on my Rift. You are really upset about that. Very upset. Zane and Heath come in, and they're like, hey, how's it going, man? What, what's up? What's going on? Uh, oh, you're upset about the game? I'm like, why are you guys being really, <laughs> why are y'all being really nice to me? And they go, are you free uh, this Friday? Uh, we would love to have you on the podcast. And I'm like, yeah, totally. I'm down. And they go, there's also something else we want to talk to you about. And do you guys want to so take it away? So we, um, we sat Matt down and we we're like, okay, Matt, you... You, you got your podcast started, you know, you've been you, doing it. You've built your own success. We're you've very proud out. of you. you go it. on. More you, about the success. You, you've been yes. Continue. Success. Tell them about how well I'm doing. You got, yeah. you got a Kickstarter. You're doing fucking incredible. A Kickstarter. 
What? No. Kickstarted. Oh, Kickstarted. oh okay. I was Kickstarted. Like, it didn't start a Kickstarter. <laughs> Wasn't that? Like... He's raising money for his ass. <laughs> I feel like you're comfortable now. You like you got a flow going with yep. your with your other show. So we're like. Heath, I think it, Heath, me and Mariah, we we, we kind of missed the old, the old unfiltered episode. The dynamic, and we we asked you to be on the on unfiltered permanent full time, baby, full time. Yeah! And, and what he, did I say? He said, "No, I'll be no. a guest. <laughs> <laughs> One episode. That's all you get." Said nothing about it. Also, just to address the elephant in the room, obviously Kenny hasn't been with us for the last few weeks, and it has been hard for Zane and I. And we appreciate everything that he's done for us for the last few episodes. And we're we're, we're nothing but grateful for the time that we had with him and how much he's helped us with the podcast the yeah. last few months. Um, but it is very difficult to mix friendship with business, and we would rather lose a co-host than a best friend. So we're really excited to just. Have Kenny as our best friend, and it's an unfortunate situation, but we're just so excited for him and thankful for everything that he's helped us with, and we really appreciate him. Exactly. And guys, continue to support him. He's an incredible voice actor, and he's going to do incredible things, so please keep sending him love, and we wish the best for him. Kenny, we love you so much, and thank you again for everything, and cheers to you. Cheers to you, bud. I've missed this. We have so many more exciting things coming up. And the guests that we have, we were just like, we have to include Matt. We get weird here. We goof around and it's yeah. like a whole different experience. So I miss this dynamic. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys for thank, no, thank having you. Thank me you back. For thank you. It was a long conversation. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I feel like, no, I feel like I'm like in, uh, I feel like I'm a character in a soap opera who has like come back to life. <laughs> yeah, come back to life like, after death. They I'm killed back. them off and then they we bring them back. We John, we John snowed Matt, huh? <laughs> Just brought him right we, back. We told, right, him, we, we told Matt, we were like... <laughs> <laughs> we were like... Bitch, we, I'm a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> we told Matt, we were like, we, we would really love to have you back on now that you're like established. You got your own podcast going. You have your success. Like, this is great. Like, we would love to now like reintroduce it and like have it back to that feeling. Matt was just like... Shaking. Let me... me. <laughs> I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. Um... I just gotta think about I gotta it. Let me just uh, let me just think about it for a second. I just need to uh, talk to some people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and but he was so Didn't excited. Didn't want to seem too eager. Right. Trying to keep my cool. <laughs> but I was really excited. But you know, it's like when you get the job offer, you can't just say, "Oh yes," immediately. Right, right. You yeah. have to act like you cool, have uh, cool. some other offers. <laughs> you need to catch but back your up on. No, when you're house hunting. When you're house hunting. <laughs> He's like, I did get offered by Joe Rogan to go on his, but... Uh, I don't want to we'll move back to Texas. <laughs> Can you imagine me on Joe Rogan? <laughs> I would that, love that it. That would be interesting, though. Joe Rogan, Let's I love it. listening to, but I would never want his full attention on me. I don't think I could ever be... Like, if he asked like us to go on... Oh no! I don't think I can handle. it. I don't it. think I could either. Because I feel like he would just try to like make fun of us, or just try to like just grill no. you. I feel like yes. you'd be like talking to a cop. Like you're doing nothing wrong, but they're like, "So this your car?" <laughs> yeah. You're like. No, it's my mom's. So why are you driving it? Uh huh. Well, well, she, well, uh, she let me drive it, and it's like, oh, interesting, right? Uh -huh. And I just think he he knows so much, like so much, where I feel like we couldn't even have a conversation. He would talk to me about something. I'm just like, but what Joe Rogan is very good about is that he goes into conversations with people who know so much about something yeah. he doesn't know anything yeah. about, and is curious enough to navigate the conversation, which yeah. is like good. That's what I need to, to work have on. I don't have that at all. Yeah, you just got to pick people's brains. Curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of curiosity, but I don't know how to... Like, like that. I don't know how to, you know? <laughs> what's, on, what's, yeah. on, what's on your mind? Right now? Yeah, what I are you thinking about? Nothing. Blank. <laughs> you oh answered for me. It's nothing. blank. I tell Heath that all the time. Like, if I'm just sitting there daydreaming, I'll be like, what baby, are you thinking what's, about? baby, what's wrong? I'm like, baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's, he's like, Bubba. what are you thinking like, about? I'll be like, and I, I, I'm not one of those people that's like, I'm fine. I just literally, I'm like, it's empty. It's blank. There's <laughs> well, nothing well, happening. Right, I'm like, thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking about daydreaming. I'm thinking about, I mean, I have nothing in here. There's nothing happening right now. What's, ha that's what's going on. Do you, well, do you I'm, think you have some sort of like ADHD? Yes. <laughs> Good Zane. Yes. <laughs> ADHD? Oh, let me try, let me try. <laughs> Zane, 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 wants, Zane wants to talk about it so bad. No, Zane, Zane, I Zane, have ADHD. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me try that again. Yes. How about you? Good. Fuck this. This is toxic. 
Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor, Harry's. Too often, we're choosing between quality or a fair price. And with Harry's, you don't have to choose. They give you award-winning blades at factory quality price. I just got my Harry set yesterday, and I used it today for my beard, as you can see. It's all okay. shaved nicely. Okay. Dude, it's literally glad with preciseness. Okay. And it feels good. And it's got me looking good, too. And the packaging. It just makes you feel like you got, like, a, a Christmas present. Yeah, it's, like, really... It just feels high-end. Mm-hmm. For a limited time, Harry's is offering their starter set plus a free body wash for just $3 at harrys.com slash unfiltered. And you're going to get that close, comfortable shave for only $2 refills. I just mm. bought... Word just came in. Matt actually just bought their shaving cream. Is raving about it right now. He's actually jealous that he's not <laughs> sponsored by Harry's because it's true. It's true. Because he uses it every day because he knows it's the best. And baby, tell him how they do it. Harry's team combined a symbol, ergonomic design with five sharp blades. Tell him what ergonomic means. I have no idea. <laughs> They source their steel from Sweden and manufacture their blades in their world-class blade factory. And could you point to Sweden on a map? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. But I know they make some good blades. For a limited time, Harry's has an exclusive offer for you guys listening. That's right. New customers can get a Harry starter set and a free body wash for $3. At harrys.com slash unfiltered, baby. Free body wash. Who doesn't want a free body wash? Yeah, baby, you need a free body wash. That's over $16 of value for just $3. You're going to get a five-blade razor. Weighted handle. Foaming shave gel. A travel cover. And a travel size body wash. It's an incredibly great deal, but act fast while supplies last. Go to harrys.com slash unfiltered to redeem your offer. Again, that's harrys.com slash unfiltered. Thank you so much, Harrys. We love you. Even my mom agrees. She thinks all four of us, me and my siblings, she was like, you all have ADHD. <laughs> but I never got like diagnosed or anything, but I I got I definitely do. I got diagnosed with ADD. Oh, did you? Well, because one ADHD is oh, uh, attention, attention deficit, deficit, deficit hyper. I have something really funny to say. Zane was like, what do I tell the doctor that I have? Like, what's wrong? I was he like, said say I had you. a laundry list. He was like, how do, how do like, I t like explain like the things that I have, like to let him know I have ADHD. And I was like, tell him you have like an attention deficit. He's like, what does that mean? <laughs> no, no, no. I he, was goes, like, he goes, yeah, but I need examples. And I you're like, like, attention deficit. Okay, fuck you guys. This is <laughs> The reason why I was asking, because I don't notice a lot of things that I do. You just should have sent in all the bloopers of your ad reads. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Like, and they would have been like, diagnosed now. <laughs> well, I know there's a, Get there's, him the there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that like I know in the past that Heath and Mariah were like a little... A little like um, frustrated, like just I, I think a little frustrated that I would do, but I like never noticed that I did it. Like someone will talk to me and it will go in one ear and out the other, like like accidentally. Like I don't mean to do that, or like I get to have a conversation with you and I'm I, you have my full hundred like percent attention. I'm listening to you, and then when it's ready for when it's time for me to talk, I can't give you an answer because everything you just told me Gone. it went out the door. Yeah, and it's like. It's been happening. It's it, it's this has been happening really bad for the past like two years now. But like I've had it as a kid, like very like I had a little like I had it like minor as a kid, and then it got worse and worse as I got older. Didn't and now you, it's like the worst it's ever been. Didn't you say like when somebody's talking to you, you're like looking at them and you're like you're talking, and I'm listening, <laughs> and I'm like I know you're that's talking. That's what goes on. Yeah, and that's like, what I'm you'll, thinking you'll, like, in my brain. You'll yeah. be like, I'm, 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 yep, shake your head. Listen. Oh, I, I'm time listening. to respond. Yeah. Here we it, go. But you're not fully there, present, listening to yeah. them. I but like, I'm actually trying though. It's like, I, it's not like but I don't care. That's the thing. We're over trying, and we're like, try, try, try. Like, it, the it really sucks. And like, it, like, and there's so many other things that happens like around that. Like, the fact that I can't like. Like I leave shit till last minute. Like any work that I have, I'll leave it till last minute and then I'll stress myself out and then I'll quit. Like I, I'll get a job and it's paying really good and I'll quit. I'll quit because like, I just don't care. And I l allow my brain to not care about this big, great opportunity that I just got. Yeah. I'm willing to let it go out the door. And there are so many other things that like I knew was wrong with me, but I just thought that that was something I was going to have to deal with for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. And I, there, there was no way to fix it. It was just something that I have to deal with. And I kind of accepted it to be like the idiot because I just felt like I, oh, I'm just dumb. And it sucks because like, I don't want to be fucking dumb, but like my you're brain. You're not dumb though. No, you're not. You're being no. smart right now by recognizing that you did have a problem and you're seeking help for it. Yeah. yeah. For a lot of times, people will go and go and go and think, no, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. And you then it just keeps point. festering. Yeah. And, yeah. and then I got to the point where I like I, I talked to all my friends. I was just like, hey, guys, 
I, like, I, I never really opened up about this because I just thought it was something I, I just thought it was me, but I opened up to everybody about, it. I was just like, guys, I have this problem and this problem. And I don't like, what do I do? Because I feel like, I feel like there has to be something out there that can help me kind of deal with this or just fix it at least. And Matt was just like, you might have ADHD. And I was like, ADHD, I, because to me, ADHD is just like, if you can't like focus on something, right, you're just like, that. that's all yeah. I, that's all I think the thought was ADHD. Yeah, and I was like, what do you mean? It's like, ADHD is just not that. Like, it, it, there's a ton it's, of things that can. Broad. Exactly. So I was just like, fuck, okay. So I scheduled an, <clears throat> an appointment. I was so excited for it because I was just like, oh my God, someone's going to help me. So I, I just had the appointment like two days ago. And I, I was talking to the doctor. And then the, the first like 10, 15 minutes, he was explaining what ADHD was. And then he listed everything that um he like, like he, symptoms yeah all the symptoms for uh someone with adhd and i hit every single one i couldn't believe it like as he was talking i swear to god i was crying i was like tearing up and it was and i'm like i'm sorry i just can't believe that like mm -hmm. the i can't believe someone's about to help me right now yeah, yeah. deal with all this because i just thought this was something normal that you can't fucking fix and it was so embarrassing because he had an intern <laughs> that was on like that on the call. <laughs> that was hot. That was She was on the call, but like you, I couldn't see her webcam. She was like blank. He, he asked me before the appointment. He was like, "Do you mind if there, uh, if I we have a an intern? Kind of, they're gonna they're the shadow. Just like oh my you know, god, she knew who you were. No, no, she didn't. But like as I was, as I was like tearing up, and I'm just like yeah, yeah, and I was like I was sitting there, and I was just like oh my god, this girl right now is seeing this. Who fucking knows what she's doing? I was like, I'm oh going to be on TikTok tomorrow. Like, TikTok. Just, tell, me some, tell me something that happened to you at work that Without you didn't telling, telling me that <laughs> you at work or something like that. Wait, you know what's funny? Not funny, actually. But I regret not telling him sooner. He's like, what? You, so you fucking knew. No, my brother <laughs> was know. on ADHD medicine and we have the same symptoms and you remind me of my brother and we have the same like brain. Yeah. So I looked up symptoms and I was checking them off for myself. I was like, oh my gosh, I have ADHD. Like yeah. there's, I was checking off everything. It's not too insane where I like want to go get checked, but I, I could. And I was looking at the list and I was like, I check everything off. And then I was thinking, I was sitting there with Heath and I was like, Zane checks everything off. I was like, this makes so much sense now. Yeah. Like it's, you don't do anything on purpose. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, it's literally And it ADHD. sucks and I feel so bad when people are just like, Zane, you don't like listen. I'm just like, fuck, I really try to listen. Yeah. And just, you my don't brain know, is but not you allowing actually me don't to. Know. You, That's listen, the thing. you listen when you want to listen, but when you have to listen, that's when it's tough. It's like a very like selective focus. Yeah. But what I want to bring back to Mariah, because like you think like, oh, you meet some of the symptoms. But I think what's so beautiful is, is that you didn't, get diagnosed with ADHD and you're a dancer. What's so sad is sometimes people are overdiagnosed with ADHD. Mm -hmm. Like um, your kid in kindergarten, she can't sit still when we all need to have yeah. story time or whatever. Yeah. Maybe she's actually a dancer. But no, what let's was, prescribe yeah. the kid a pill and make them suppress their like uh, their attention or their make them su suppress their energy and enhance their focus and tone them down on something that's already in them and their desire to move and perform. You, you, yeah. you talked to me about that before about the guy who was like, no, 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 you just you just need to dance. So they put the kid in like dance classes and it like was mm -hmm. literally magic. Like it was medicine. And, like the kid was like, yeah, I just needed to dance. Yeah. And yeah. like that was it. That's yeah. the beauty of it. So but cool. And in my brain, like with Zane, when it happened, I was like, I would like to tell you, but I don't know how you're going to react. But also I was like, this is something he's going to have to figure out on his own. Yeah. And it'll hit him. <laughs> you no. Could... <laughs> no, you have to. Under... No, Two you have years to ago, this is something he's going to have to figure out on his own. No, I'm right. like, That's what I'm torn you're... with because I didn't know that he told you. And I we could have told you so much earlier, but I didn't want to offend you or anything. And I was just like, you know what? He's gonna figure I it out. I don't get offended about anything true, like that. But true, I'm just but like, you, the only me. the only person who can help yourself is yourself. Right. Yeah. You know, there's a truth. I feel like to if that. I told you two years ago, you would be like you. It would go right over your head. Like <laughs> you'd be like, like I don't now. get it, and then move on. <laughs> just like I think now, now you're at a point where you you know how you act and react to things. Yeah. Where you're accepting it he hasn't taken it yet he wanted I'm to wait because so you. uh, apparently be you have like a couple of days of like high anxiety yeah like so used i, to I the got medication. it i got it yesterday or, or the day before and i was supposed to today's supposed to be my first day but i was like i can't take it today because the first few days you're supposed to like your anxiety is supposed to shoot up to the air you don't eat like you, you can't eat all day because it just you're not hungry you can't like sleep at night it's like fucking crazy the oh, first few your days worst fears. just because your, your body's trying to get used to the medicine but then after that 
it's it's just something that I take. It's literally like a tab that I like put on my tongue, kind of like acid. It's acid. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't even know the name of it, so I'm very curious what That's it is. I was like, I, what, I what did he prescribe you? He goes. He got a weird one. Well, I keep forgetting. Like, <laughs> he, couldn't re- he couldn't remember. He couldn't remember what the prescription God, was. Hold on, wait. I've, I, even if I told you What's three times, called? you wouldn't. They, they give him a weird one that isn't like one of the top Guys, five. Guys, I could have told the you three times, pig. and you, you wouldn't know. have known. So he they, like, they gave him a placebo. <laughs> He's like, I think it was called placebo. Are you excited? I'm really excited. My doctor said that 90% of the patient, his patients that take this has com- they, changes it's completely their life. changed their life. Yeah. I was like, I'm like. How can something like this change, like change what I'm going we'll through right now? We'll find out. It's, it's limitless. He just like <laughs> unlocks his whole brain. Because, because he's like, blah, 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 blah. I wanted to film the first day on my medication. Oh, that's Matt, fun. That was it. That was it. Imagine my first day vlogging with the medication. I'm just like, <laughs> and, then he, and then he like he edits it. It's just like him like, blah, 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 blah. and then he uploads it. He's like, blah, blah. he goes to bed like, blah, blah, blah. and he wakes up and he's like. Uh, what did I do? And he sees this video. He's like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> he just looks coked out. It's like <laughs> fucked up. Oh shit, that's good. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping once I start taking this medication, I'm able to like get shit done again. I'm able to get mm-hmm. up and like get my like get chores done, get like my fucking work done, get we vlog out, get him. a yeah. fucking. Get a, <laughs> we hate the new him. We're like, oh like my. Zane's cracked out. <laughs> he is just always he's, working. He's it's tw- so annoying. He's tweaking. Must be tweaking. No, I think we all have ADHD. Everybody here. Has ADHD. I think everybody you know why? Has a so. bit. You know why? So. Yeah. You know why? There's a whole theory about it. What? Our ancestors had to have had ADHD. Because they were the only people who had the balls enough to be like, oh, yeah, I'll get on the boat. Where's it going? To that new land over there? Yeah, sure. Bring it on. Ah. Let's do something different. Ah. So, like, so I'm supposed to be a captain of a ship? No, it just. I can see that. That's the reason why so many Americans have ADD is because it's like rooted in our genetics that we Didn't are people impulsive take people. Everywhere, though? Yeah. So I was diagnosed with ADHD, both hyperactive and inattentive. Inattentive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor. Hello! Fresh! Your voice rusty. <laughs> <laughs> HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes or less. Baby Zane ain't never got dinner on the table in 30 minutes or less. <laughs> HelloFresh offers over 23 different recipes every single week. You got different cuisines, flavors, ingredients, and you're never going to get bored of it. I literally made their pasta the other night, and it's so good it's incredible it, it tastes like it just, it's from an italian restaurant baby but homemade you did it yourself the flavors are immaculate the flavor <laughs> <laughs> guys it was super easy and it's super quick too i'm actually going to read you this message real quick from my dad so you know how i sent them the uh uh hello fresh box and yeah. like i got him a membership mm-hmm. my dad is obsessed he goes thank you this was from your kit this is the one with the fig sauce the steak is like butter Every morsel, every scrap. Wow, this was so good. They have all been amazing, but this one was exceptional. Thanks again. That sounds like your mom like, texting. That's I'm how not, your dad texts. That's my dad. My I like my dad doesn't talk to me like this. Like <laughs> have you ever seen that? He doesn't talk to me at all. <laughs> my, my dad doesn't love me. But can you please put this a screenshot? It just I can't see your dad talking like this. That, at that all. blew my mind. He's obsessed. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Like I feel like I did a good thing. I got him a nice gift, and he's. Literally loving it. So, guys, if you want to eat good like me, Heath, and his parents, make sure to go to HelloFresh.com slash 10unfiltered and use code 10unfiltered for 10 free meals, including free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash 10unfiltered. You're going to get 10 free meals, including free shipping. For America's number one meal kit. Woo-woo. We love you, HelloFresh. Thank you. And whoop, 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 whoop. rewind back to the things that I learned on TikTok. I learned this one thing about people who live in Florida. And I know this isn't everybody who lives in Florida. Hit us. Do you guys have these bags that you put in your closets next to your clothes that like trap humidity? No. I saw no. that. Oh. Absolutely. And you hang it. It's like these, like Arm and Hammer. <clears throat> it's these like, like z- it's a Ziploc bag, but when you take it out after a long time, all this water has collected in it because it takes in all the moisture that would no. maybe collect in your closet. It says the, so the text on it was like pe- people in Florida have these or whatever, and it's like kind of foggy water. Does uh-uh. it depend on like what like floors you have and all that, or is it just because I guess it's just the mo- like humidity in the air, and you mm-hmm. have to be living like near. Oh, heavy water like it down in the everglades oh, and stuff okay. it must be but i didn't know if that was like a universal thing where everybody has this bag of is it supposed no. to prevent like like, like, like getting like it oh pre- just close it, yeah. it prevents mold 
Like what is it? The the mm. wood panel closet? cedar cedar, cedar closets. Yeah. I I just learned that they were moisture free. I just thought cedar closets were a thing that you just you... thought it was like aesthetic. Yeah. You know what I did learn on TikTok recently though, and like this actually fucked me up. The girl goes, I just found out that hibernation isn't when an animal goes to sleep for months at a time. And I was like, what? I was like, my whole life, I grew up thinking like hibernation. You got these animals. They stuff Not themselves. Not thinking, taught. I feel like I was actually taught. Why do I feel like they that They stuff was... themselves and then they burrow underground and they go to sleep until like spring yes that's what i was taught too i don't know we were why. taught it it's not a mandela effect we were taught it it was in our yes books. that's a fact it wasn't like in any cartoon movies that we watch when like uh, it animals was in spongebob would... where like sandy remember she like Hi goes and but hibernates think about learning hibernation in like third grade second and third grade yeah that's the what bears we but so they don't go to sleep what do they do actually they eat food and basically slow their their uh, metabolism, their bodies down, their like blood pressure and everything, so they don't use as much energy, and they're just like kind of like slower. But they're still awake. They're right. not napping. I thought they fucking slept. But now that you think about it, how are they sleeping for six months? I know. Because they I know. Food I know. Water it's ridiculous. Yeah. But, like, but why did they tell us that? But that made sense to me because there was like other stories I heard like about the man who slept under the tree for like. How long? You know what I'm talking about, right? Rip Van Winkle. Right. He like slept for like months at a time, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, okay, it makes sense. Maybe he just hibernated. There's like some sort of way, like it just works because some animals do it. Yeah. Why the fuck were we taught this? I don't know. And Lazy. what's crazy? How does your teacher not really clarify that? How is the teacher they were getting that, that too? Yeah, they I, sleep. I think, I think it's more fun to tell kids that. Oh yeah, they go to sleep for six months. I maybe maybe it's like a. I even thought of that when I was like a few years ago when I was in like uh, bear territory. I was thinking like, oh, oh bears, bears. They'll be are, sleeping. Yeah, they're not going to come out. They're are sleeping. They hibernating? They're hibernating. They're resting. It doesn't make sense. Why? I don't know. We need to go to a local school board and check on what's the curriculum for this year and clarify that. Imagine all the books in like 10 years, what, the, what, like what will be in like history books and shit. How different. Fucking crazy. Did you guys have McGraw Hill? Yes. Textbooks? Of course. Yeah. I used to convince people. It's not true. That McGraw and Hill were Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. Jesus. And they owned the textbook companies. This was stupid. Just to get the rumor going. Like, I know. Oh, yeah, that reached my state. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had no basis of that information, but I'd be like, Tim McGraw and Faith Hill like, own the books, and everyone would be like, really? Not true. Just there were investors, and now, like, when you grow up, you realize how, like, companies work. You have, like, investors, Those celebrities, books yeah. celebrities for invested. fucking hundreds of years. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, oh, right, makes sense. Was there anything else weird that we were taught that, like, wasn't, didn't end up being Probably true? Probably everything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I know there's, like, a ton more things, but I, I, it's not on my head right now. Nothing's on my head right now. I haven't taken my ADHD medicine yet. So. <laughs> Zane, I think our neighbor is growing drugs. <laughs> Hold on, really? Yeah, we got new neighbors. The ones yeah. to the left. Yes. They're, like, they're like kids, right? Like, I because I saw them Young walking guys. up. The, I saw them walking up the side of the yard. And I was just like, "Who's in the backyard right now?" Because nobody was living in our like at the neighbor's house for like a good year. Yeah, like it was just empty. And then, or no, it wasn't empty. It was actually empty for like five months because the guy moved out. The couple next to us had a baby. I never saw the wife pregnant once, and all of a sudden. <gasps> Like a little baby appeared. I don't know if it was adopted or if it's surrogate. It's it's the Hollywood Hills. Nobody knows what goes down. You don't know. Anything's possible. But yeah. then they moved. You yeah. know, the pandemic happened. They're gone. Two new kids move in. And my balcony, I can kind of look out into their front yard a lot. And their you front yard. You peeping, Tom. I'm, well, they're, dude, they're climbing part, up the... I am not. Have you heard of crime watchers? <laughs> oh, my God. I Is see. that thing where you have the cup and the string? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever, guys ever looked at the crime watchers, like, yes. sign? Who is that villain? <laughs> <laughs> he has, I always think of Carmen he, Sandiego. Yeah, <gasps> he has, he's this masked man <laughs> yeah. with a top hat. Why do they have... It. I'm sorry, who is that? He looks like the Grim Reaper. It just looks like Assassin's Creed. Well, like, who's robbing uh, houses with that shit? Or, like, like, over. I yeah. know, Jack the Ripper. Or, I said Jeeper, the Grim Reaper. Jeepers Creepers. Like, <laughs> you don't know who I am. Is that crazy? Like, who is that? It's the most terrifying shit ever. They should replace that with the kid that fucking robbed their house and took my car keys. Have the <gasps> flannel with I the hoodie. About That's what him. they're fucking doing. That took your fly swatter. And took the fly swatter. He's holding a fly swatter <laughs> in the picture. They think it's a tennis court. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, there's tennis around here. <laughs> oh, anyways. Yeah, walked out in the balcony. And he took a peek in their front yard. They built a greenhouse. You know, a greenhouse oh, plants in the backyard or in the yeah, front yard. Either Marijuana. they're really into pottery, no or, way. But come on, we have 
pretty good climate out here in California. You yeah. can have a garden. What's in that greenhouse? Maybe wine. How old? How old are yeah. they? Great wine. Well, wait, how big is Go it? Move to Napa. How big is it? It's small. It's like the size of a shed. Oh wow! So they're they got a lot of weed. Oh, so in they're there. not pushing weight. They're fine. Let them. But be. hey, hey, Opium. how old are they? Opium. 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 That means we gotta connect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know why we're smoke complaining. <laughs> For the high episode, we we get the weed for the high episode. There you go. Oh, good tie-in. But I'm I'm concerned, but I'm not going to report him. I'm curious to see what's going on. We'll have a barbecue and be like, "Show me your house. Let's see the renovations." <laughs> They're like, "Oh, you're smoking this weed for the podcast? Let's." let's he opens up. the front door. You're like, "No, the greenhouse." <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in the high episode. I plan on not attending the high episode. Oh, Mariah will not be attending. <laughs> But I will now. I'll just take like the ADHD medicine and just see what there happens. You go. So she's just super focused and fact checking us. Like, you're wrong. Bigfoot isn't real. <laughs> Bigfoot isn't real. Oh, fuck. All right. Should we end it? Yeah. Are we okay. good? Let's All right, go. guys. Let's move on. That was great. Oh, my God. That was, that was such a fun it's, episode. That was great. And it, that was and it, nice. And it was great being back. I've missed this and I'm very, very excited. For what's to come. Yeah. Guys, if you haven't listened to my podcast, <laughs> check out Shout it now. Out. <laughs> check it out. It's on YouTube, Spotify, Anchor, Apple Music. Anchor. Oh, we don't have all of Anchor. them. Who the fuck are you sponsored by? What? Anchor. 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 How do you get that sh- how do you get your shit on there? Anchor. You guys aren't. aren't I'm sure you no. are. All they say is Apple, Spotify, everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Etc. But yeah, guys, make sure to subscribe to uh, Matt's podcast, Who and a Half. Great times. And thank you. We're really we were excited to have on you it, back. If that pulls you in that direction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pumped. Yeah. I'm really excited. Thank you for everything. Yeah, thank you. We're we, excited. We for all you. grew. We're a proud lot. of you. It's so, crazy. I feel like though everyone's been like seeing you guys age, but I'm like coming in eight months age. <laughs> like <laughs> 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 All right. Well guys. Thank you so much for tuning in on Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Um, make sure to check out the audio form of this podcast on Spotify, Google, Anchor. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say it. Very good. And Very then good. the YouTube or the video form of this on YouTube.com slash Zane and Heath. Mm-hmm. And again, guys, if you want to check out our coffee, we have the house Tahitian and the bag house available right now. So check that out. Cremota.com. Yeah. And also, and- this podcast is brought to you by the Ten Commandments, especially <laughs> thou shalt not steal. <laughs> 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 Hey, enough, I enough. Know, I thought we bad. and we ended it. We ended All right. it. Done. All right, guys, we love you so much, and we will see you next week. Peace Bye. out. Blessings, baby. Big kisses. Big kisses. Big kisses. Mwah. That's Joe Rogan. Yeah.